do 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 Alright, I'm gonna have to sync this with the video. So three, two, one, go. Alrighty, so today uh, fuck. Fuck me. Jesus. Alright, hold on. Going to start the over. Sync number two. Three, two, one, go. Hello, and welcome back to a video on my channel. Today we're playing a little bit of Rim World. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on the setup. It's basically Naked Brutality, but I've added two people instead of one because one can be tough. Playing on Randy Random, Strive to Survive. I'm uh, going to play commitment mode. I know that can cause issues with recording if you uh, your recording software messes up or whatever, but it's whatever. I'm not a hardcore gamer. I just, it's fun. I like to play. Uh, I just do, do it's fun. And I feel like I've played this game so many times where I just am like, oh, you, you won't believe what happened. And then I fail to describe it. So here we are. We're going to, you're not going to miss any of it. Uh, there's all the mods I'm playing with. If you're interested, you can pause and read those. Uh. There's a bunch. Um, some are small, some are big. You'll kind of see some of them as we play. Um, there we are. And this is the world. I'm going to skip the part where I decided where to live. I like being near roads and people because I don't want to spend 18 years traveling somewhere. I want to have an interesting location. Uh, Air Trubland, we got small hills, uh, 1.5 movement difficulty, whatever that means. Sure. Uh, we got limestone and marble, um, slightly elevated, average temperature. We did get year-round growing, which is always nice. Uh, not that much to forage. Animals, disease, time zone, all good stuff. Next. Uh, so I skipped the part where I did this, but basically I made two people, and I, want, I made a really old one and a really young one. Granny is really old, and Grapes is really young. Granny is Grapes. Um, Great-grandson. That's a word. No, other way around. Granny is Grapes' great-grandmother. Uh, so I got that all set up. No starting equipment. Uh, we'll go over their stats a little more once we get uh, in the game. But, yeah. Basically, we have an old lady who's good at stuff and a young person who's not so good at stuff. Young guy. I think it was a dude. I don't remember. <laughs> and away we go. Uh, two people set out into the world together. What will they accomplish? What will they do? What will be their legacy? Will they die? Um, no spoilers. All right, so pause it right off the bat look at our people you see that uh, granny is grapes uh great grandmother they are related in that way uh, i just i don't know i like to get a little flavor a little story i'm not really sure what happened why why a great grandmother and a and a i think he's like 20 20 year old are out here together on their own in the wilderness you can see granny is good at plants and medical uh okay at shooting melee crafting she's kind of a utility i would say um She's got more skills and higher level because she's old. She has suffered an old gunshot to her leg, which means she won't walk so well. And she can't hear so well out of her left ear. All fun things. Grapes is obviously perfectly healthy as a 20-year-old man. And is good at shooting things and building things. And okay at stabbing things. Um, will not mind things. Walks fast and is too smart for his own good. Granny. Uh, well, I guess I, guess I didn't want to didn't want to read that anyways good job me all right uh so now i need to find somewhere for my colonists to live i guess i decided here maybe oh, okay yeah i uh, just watching me fail at buttons here there we go tear all this down so we can use it to build or, or repair this other structure to live in get them going on that and away they go. Of course, they're unhappy about multiple things because they have nothing. Uh, get him. So I want to turn this into their starter home. It looks like the most kind of intact and easy to repair uh, place for them to live. Gonna put the table in there. Free table, why not? Hey. What am I doing here? Oh, I'm claiming the rest of this so they'll repair it. That way they'll fix the walls and everything. Uh, Granny has not got anything to do right now. 
I think I was thinking about uh, setting up a growing zone for her to work in, but instead I decided to just have her forage berries. Yeah, I just had to send her out to forage berries. And she'll put the berries in that little zone right there. Hopefully. That's the dream. Um, what am I doing? Just hitting all the buttons, apparently. Just filling the holes in our wall. But uh, and, and before you know it, we'll have a real house. And look at that. All done. Uh, we added some stools. Got a few berries. Gave them a couple sleeping spots. And then they went to bed. And now they're sleeping. Oh, I also put in a blueprint for a hoopstone ring that they don't seem to be completed with. Um, and then in the morning I got Granny going on some uh, farming. We're doing... Uh, what I end up doing? Like eggplant and cotton. Always need cotton, especially uh, out here, I guess. I don't know. Tree Wood's going to be a little bit scarce, uh, just due to the lack of actual trees. You can't just have torches everywhere burning up a wood. Uh, I believe I have her start... Yeah, I, we need some weapons so we can hunt some animals. That's what I was working on. So I'm going to have him... I was No, I was going to have her granny as our crafter, but uh, her skill isn't even five yet, so she can't make us a recurve. Got to do a short bow, which is significantly less good, as you'll see. Um, so she's getting those made. She's got one done already, and she's completed the second. Have grapes go ahead and equip that. There we go. And Granny will equip the other one. A uh, short bow is the, like... I wouldn't say it's the least of the least melee weapons because... Or not melee, um, range. Uh, because with the mods I've got on, there's, there's, like... You can literally throw rocks at people, which is probably less effective than a short bow, but... Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have him, or no, uh, he won't mind. I'm gonna have Granny dig out some of these walls. And just because they're idle and I'm trying to find stuff for him to do right now, having him smooth some walls. Just to try to make that little hole they live in more pleasant so they don't get so angry about it. I got him out here hunting some gazelle. Gazelles? Is it plural? I don't know if it's plural, gazelle. As you can see, he's extremely good at it. It took him like a trillion shots. Uh, bringing that on back for Granny. Eating some raw meat because they're hungry. Perfect. Uh, so I was thinking about building the campfire here so that way she could cook the meat. Um, but the stone campfire, the reason I wanted that um, is, be is because it doesn't burn wood as fast. And like I said, wood's not exactly super common out here in the kind of dry lands um so i wanted to build the the fire that doesn't burn the wood as fast uh, and originally because the blueprint says i thought you had to have granite which is why i was searching for granite which i just found uh but turns out you can build it out of any stone blocks and i'm just dumb um so yeah that's why i was searching around for granite and then i found it it's all right it all works out we got some granite we're gonna make it Fake it till you make it. Uh, shooting more gazelle. Doing exceptionally good job at it. Oh, and he gives up. All right, he's going home. Shot the gazelle like twice and just walked away. Granny's playing hoop style. They're playing hoop stone together. There you go. Now he's collecting the granite for the uh, fireplace. He has to get it in the st stockpile before I can tell him to build it. hitting buttons uh and right here yeah looks like a good spot to me and once he gets that built she'll be able to actually start cooking some of our food we won't have to eat raw meat and berries and i believe that's like agave fruit that's the green stuff there as you can see our colonists are unhappy about their nudity and their law on medicine and they need defenses uh but we're working on those things. Right now we're trying to get them some food. Uh, so pemmican lasts a lot longer. So I'm having her prioritize making pemmican. And then simple meals make the colonists happier. But they spoil much faster as well. Uh, so now I'm destroying these ruins to get more building materials. 
So I, I'm, I'm wanting to make another room, or I don't. I think I think that's what my thinking was: was that I wanted to make another room. Hard to hard to know sometimes. Get them some beds. Uh, this all things that kind of at the early game, it's, your colonists can get unhappy very quickly with all the random garbage they have to deal with, like sleeping on the ground and being in a room full of garbage and not having cooked food. So you want to try and prioritize getting them things to keep them from going insane. He's hunting more gazelle. Oh, he got it. There we go. Only took like 18 shots. Oh. I will say that I hate that noise. The, uh, the, the psychic soothe is what that is, which means that, uh, I think it was for male. Is it? Yeah, it's male psychic soothe. means that, that a ma all male colonists will be happier for a while. Just some random event that can happen. He's hunting again. Doing a fantastic job. Like 10 feet away from it. Just, there you go. You got it. And you murdered it. Oh. And then uh, the game prompted me to name my civilization and my specific settlement. Uh, which I eventually came to the conclusion of being... Uh, the name of the settlement is Gazelle's Doom. Seemed appropriate at the time. And our faction is the people on the people. Uh, I don't know. It's just it's one of those things where you're put on the spot to make up a name and you just your mind is goes blank and is also flooded with random nonsense at the same time. So I want the people on the people. On the people on the people. On the people on the people. So we got him tearing down some buildings, Granny cooking. He's bringing back his blocks for the night. And they're asleep. And they're sleeping. And now it's morning. Granny's cooking, Grapes wakes up, and... Uh, we're gonna make some clothes. We should have um, enough tribalware now, or enough uh, gazelle hide, which I think just shows up as plain leather, to make myself some clothes. I was trying to figure out what was better, the tribal poncho or just the tribal wear. Pretty sure I decided to just go with tribal wear, um, because they shouldn't be wearing these clothes for too long, I would hope. Um, ideally, you want them to be wearing better clothes soon. And then pelt coats uh, protect them from the desert heat a little bit. So, and that's like a, that's a overlayer, so they can wear their normal clothes and that. And he's tearing some stuff down. Granny's cooking. Early game is a lot of repetitive just getting food. I sneezed. Ugh. That's fine. I'll leave that in. Whatever. Real professional around here. He's just... I think he changed deer. Was he shooting a different gazelle a second ago and he just gave up and started shooting a different one? Oh, he killed it. Nice. And drop that off. And he's hanging out at the campfire. Granny's playing some hoopstone. Grapes is going back out to hunt. Oh, there's a deer that literally bled out uh, from being shot and then left. I keep calling them deer. They're gazelle. They're not actually deer. Or something else. I don't know. Do they have a type of deer? I don't think so. I don't know. Oh. Uh, grapes. Oh, back at it again. Shooting the, shooting the gazelle. Shooting, shooting, shooting. Granny's cooking food. Our food supply is getting up there. We're, we're doing pretty good on that. Oh, she, uh, I'm pretty sure she just pooped on the ground. Yeah, she pooped on the ground there. If you look in the bottom left, you can see it's feces. One of the mods I have installed is... Uh, I don't remember what it's called, but it has something to do with uh, hygiene. So they use the bathroom, they want to be clean. Um, things that have to do with hygiene. It adds a whole new kind of element to the game. Much like recreation, something you have to take care of. Their hygiene, something you have to take care of now as well. Which is obviously an issue in the early game because I don't have, you know, toilets or sinks or. And in the desert, there is no uh, the water for them to wash with. Uh, so a war merchant is arriving, which is exciting. Uh, we have some, we don't have much to sell, but uh, I have a mod that allows me to place a caravan spot so the caravan doesn't just flood into my home. Uh, I can kind of tell them, go stand over here, which is nice. Stops them from uh, harassing me. And also I've noticed that sometimes their animals will just wander in and eat all your food, which is eh, not, not fun. Uh, so we're going to send Granny to trade because neither of my colonists are good at social. Um, and I think, yeah, I was looking at the great bow there because I don't know if you've noticed, uh, Grapes isn't doing the best with his short bow. And the only thing we have to offer them is pemmican, which we do have an excessive amount, not excessive, but a decent amount of, enough to get us by. 
So I'm going to make a, an even trade pemmican for a great bow, which hopefully uh, will make hunting a little bit better for poor grapes because he is struggling. Uh, so that costs us a little bit of pemmican, but we're still alright. We got our simple meals. We got plenty of raw meat so she can cook more. We're gonna go ahead and have him equip that. And I think he's already off to hunt some more. What's he doing? Yep. And as you can see, it's made a huge difference. He's much better now. He's just missing from further away. There you go. He got it. I don't know if you noticed, but his shooting skill is 13. And he's, he's still, which is, you know... If you figure one's the worst, twenty's the best, ten is average. So he should be slightly above average. And this is this is what's happening. Oh, he hit it once. Yeah, shooting skill thirteen. Uh, considered a strong expert. So at this point, I was like, maybe it's the bow. And I looked and I checked. And so anytime they hunt, they fire from maximum distance. And if you notice, the great bow is only 50% accurate at uh, long distance. It's more of a medium to short range weapon, apparently. Um, which, and I can't, I can't tell him how far away to hunt his animals without micromanaging, which I just am not a big fan of. And oh yeah, I forgot the uh, the war merchant. Just the two of their people just broke out in a fight, and one of them got murdered. Just, just, just here, just murdering each other. Uh, Unfortunately, they didn't drop anything good. There's no good loot to, to steal. Got to make my stockpile bigger so I can put stuff in it. Uh, yeah, we'll take the pemmican. We don't want the poor short bow. And she doesn't have anything worth taking. So I think I just went ahead and, yeah, dug a grave for her and buried her. Because if you leave dead people out, your colonists are like, ew, gross, a dead body. And then they get unhappy. So we're going to plop down a little grave. And now that that's taken care of, we can go ahead and bury her. And I think once we get her in the ground, that's probably a good place to end this episode. Uh, starting episode, not super exciting. Kind of just getting stuff set up. But don't worry, I've played out far enough. And I can promise you there is some exciting stuff to come. Uh, so without further ado, thanks for watching. Oh, oh God. What a transition I decided on there. My eyes. Uh, so then Grapes is gonna bury her, and boop, now she's in the ground. I literally, caravan showed up, someone got in a fight and murdered each other, and we dealt with it. Um, oh gosh, transitions. Oh, is that where I ended the video? Shit. Uh, well, <laughs> I screwed that up.